Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on how to create a monogram. A monogram is a combination of two or more letters to create a motif for a logo. In this tutorial we're looking at triangles, squares, circles and cubes. So it might take a little while but I'll put some timestamps in the description if you want to skip to one of the four. Okay, to start off with, if you want to follow along, uh, just hit pause and you can have a look at the color palette that I'm using. It's a CMYK one, 7343 sign and yellow. The artboard size is 1920 by 1080. And if you put in, go to view and put on smart guides and snap to point, make sure they're on. That'll make things easier. We're going to be using predominantly the shape builder tool as well. And that's the shortcut there. So if you want to get that sorted, we can do it together. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to scroll down to the new artboard. This is what we're going to need 10 horizontal lines and then 10 lines that are rotated these two 10 here and 10 here so the first thing we're going to do is start with the line tool and you're just going to draw a line hold shift so it does it in a straight line doesn't matter how long it is and we're going to give it a white stroke if you can't see any of these things that I've got here you can hit pause again and if you want to use the same setup as me then that might make things easier so we're going to press V and we're going to click and drag holding alt and shift which is going to copy it and I mean it's about 25 pixels apart it doesn't have to be exact again but once you've done it once you can just press command D now we're looking for 10 lines we've done two so far so three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so just command d to repeat what you've just done press v select them all press command g which groups them together then you're going to press command c which copies it and then you're going to command shift v which has pasted it exactly in place okay so you can you can't see it but there are two of them there then we're going to go up to here you might see the reflect tool you might see the rotate tool we want the rotate one so if you, if you can't see the rotate just click and hold and select rotate shortcuts R. if you double click it the actual rotate box is going to come up i've already put in minus 240 um, so just type minus 240 hit tab and click ok we're going to do the copy and paste in place again so command c command shift v and this time we're going to click and hold on the rotate and we're going to select reflect double tap that and it's going to reflect it vertically okay so click OK there now that's close to what we want but it's not quite right so we need to move these out a little bit so we're just going to select it zoom in a little bit and I'm going to pull it out until it sort of snaps into place there if you can see it's one two three and a bit okay so you should have three diamonds one two three and and then a triangle so that's where you need so just move one of these sets of lines to the right a little bit until that snaps into place there okay with the uh, smart guides and the snap to point it should almost do it for you okay so what we're going to do now is select all of this and we're going to go to the shape builder tool the shortcuts shift and M and you'll see when you roll over that the the shapes change so if you look at this one that we've done here the USA we're going to start on the third diamond in so one two three third diamond in just click and it'll go red and just come all the way down to this bo bottom line and then you're going to go across two and then all the way up till you get to that one. Oh, I've made a mistake there. So what, what I did, um, I've left the white stroke on. So all I need to do is swap it round. So I need a fill. So I'm just going to do that again quickly. Go down there, come across and straight back up. Yeah, so now it's filled it in white. It had the stroke from these lines that were selected. So you just need to select the lines, switch it around, and then do it. The S, the S starts here, goes up a few down. Might take you a few goes to get this lined up because it is a bit tricky 
to get the exact ones the first time round. That looks good. And then the A is a simplified little arrow up there. So that's that's it really. Then press A, which is direct select, and click that one, hold shift, click that one, and that one. Press command C, then press A again, select all this, and just double tap delete, and then command shift V. And that's your first one, USA. You can group it together, command G, and you can change it whatever color you want. If you want it red, white, and blue, you can change it, mess about with it as much as you like. So now you've got it. All right, on to the next one. The next one is a square. And again, we're going to start with a line tool. And here we want 10 vertical lines and 10 horizontal, and then 14 offset. So what I'm actually going to do is start with my line tool, draw a line. This time it is just a white stroke. And I'm going to click, so hold an Alt and Shift, drag it down. That's two, so I'm going to Command D until I've got 14, just to make life a little bit easier. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all these with V, Command G to group them. I'm going to Command C, which is cop copied it. Okay. So now I've got a copy of this, but I haven't pasted it. So once I've got these 14 lines, I'm going to select it all. I'm going to Command G to group it together. And then I'm going to go to my Rotate tool. Again, if you can't see it, just click and hover on the uh, Reflect tool. Double click it. And we want it to be 225. 225%. Click OK. And then because we'd copied it before, we're going to Command Shift V, which gives us the lines back. But we actually don't need 14. We only need 10. So I'm going to select these bottom four with A and just bin those. I'm then going to select this, uh, these 10, Command C, Command Shift V, and just rotate them around, holding Shift until you get them vertical. So once we've got that vertical, it's not quite aligned properly. If you can, if I zoom in, you can see that this one isn't quite right here. So what we need to do is select all of this and then hover over your alignment, and you want vertical alignment. So what that's done is it's just shifted things around slightly so the corners look correct. Now, same thing again, same process. Um, so I'm going to speed this up because we've done it once already. I'm going to do the Shape Builder tool and then I'm going to start filling these in. And don't forget to just hit the switch so it's a fill. <laughs> Same process. A, hold shift, select the three, press command C, select A again, select all of it, delete, command shift V, back in place. That is the USA. The next one is the circles. And for this, we've got 12 vertical, 12 horizontal, and six circles. So let's start with the horizontal. Click, hold shift, drag down, command, so alt, shift, and drag, oop, alt, shift, drag down, it snaps into place and then command D. So we want 12. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Press V, select all, command G, which is group. Command C, command shift V, rotate round. Hold shift and you'll get the 90 degrees. Uh, now the ellipse tool could be under the rectangle tool, the shortcut's L, but if you click and hold, you can select the ellipse tool directly there. And we're going to click hold shift and sorry hold alt and shift and drag out until it snaps to those outer ones I haven't quite done that right so i'm just going to move it down a bit there we go command c command shift v get to a bounding box corner drag it in hold alt and shift until it snaps to the next one and then just repeat the process So same thing again, select everything and shape builder and let's switch this round. So we've got the white fill and I'll speed this up. So 
Okay, same thing again. Direct select with A and hold shift. Command C, press A, select everything, delete it, command shift V. USA in the circle form. The next one, and probably the hardest one, is the cuboid. So what we're going to need is 10 sets of two vertical, 10 sets of two on the minus 240 off vertical. Okay, so let's start with the line tool. And I'm going to draw two lines. So I'll draw one vertical, then with the Alt and Shift, I'm going to drag it over. And then I'm going to select these two lines rather than the Command D, which just repeats it. So I'm going to select both those lines and I'm going to Alt Shift, click and drag a little distance apart. Okay. So if you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need 10 sets of these. I've got two already. So I'm just going to command D, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sets of those. So select them all with V, compress, command G to group them, command C, command shift V, and then let's rotate them. We've got the minus 240. Click OK. Command C, command shift V, and I'm going to reflect it and click OK and we should be about set with that. Now this looks really complicated so to help us out we're going to use a polygon. If you click and hold the ellipse tool we used before go down to polygon tool click and drag holding shift and let go. If it's not six-sided you can double click it or you can move up the up and down cursor to get a six-sided um, polygon. I'm going to Press V and actually rotate this until the point is upwards. So let me just shift the stroke to a fill and get rid of that stroke. So now you can see that's our polygon that we, we want to work with, the cube shape. So I'm going to move this until it snaps onto that edge. I'm just going to pull this in, hold in shift until it snaps onto there. And we're already in the middle. So in order to make it a little bit easier, let's change the transparency to about 20% maybe 30 and I'm going to use command shift and the left square bracket to send it to the back and then I'm going to use command and the right square bracket just to bring it forward until I can see it there we go and then I'm going to command 2 to lock it a few little steps you've got to do there but it'll make life easier okay so let's press V and select all these lines and do our shape builder again with this one, what you're looking for is to leave these gaps. That's why we've done the slightly different lines. So we've got to leave these gaps so the letters don't touch. So let's select all these lines, go to Shape Builder, switch from Stroke to Fill, and we're going to leave these. The reason we did the different lines is the small gap is going to be our space between them so they don't touch. We're also going to fill in, if you watch the first bit here, I'm filling down here and across and then up, but I'm also taking that extra bit there. So it's it's going to be a heavier shape, because if we didn't, then it would be quite a thin shape. All right, I'll speed this up. Okay, and then repeat those final steps with A, direct select, hold shift, select the three, command C, press A, select everything, double click, delete, oh, cancel, double click, delete. I haven't quite got them all there. You can command, you can hit the padlock here, unlock that one, get rid of that, command shift V. And there we have the cuboid. Quite a long one, quite a lot involved there. Hope they were useful. It's appreciated if you would like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos and I'll see you again next time.